This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar exploring third-party tools that work with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. This excerpt is the first portion of our training on the brand new version 6 of Smart Sounds Sonic Fire Pro. Smart Sounds Sonic Fire Pro allows us to customize a library of royalty-free music for duration, mix, and timing. The plugin simplifies adding music to Final Cut. You can learn more at smartsound.com. The plugin by itself is $49.95, Sonic Fire Pro 6, and the plugin is $248.90. Let me show you how it works. This is an incredible shot of a model railroad. This is what Fran and Miles Hale, they do all those that train scenery. It's just amazing. So this is the shot. And the shot itself runs 23 seconds and 3 frames. It'd be nice to have music for that. So, the Smart Sound plugin is a generator. So I go to the generators, go to Smart Sound, and there's the music placeholder. Grab the placeholder and drag it until it is in the location with the duration that you want. I want to have it do an underscore for all of my train footage. With the placeholder selected, let's go over to where it says Generator, and we're going to store it inside the library called Test3. You could create a new library, but this allows you to specify what uh, library you want to put it in. We're going to call this our Main Train Theme. We could add keywords if we want, but that's going to be enough. The key is this button right here called Generate Music. When you click it, it automatically opens up Sonic Fire Pro, puts in the duration, notice it says 2303, and allows me to select music and have it automatically be configured to this duration. Now, one of the limitations of GoToWebinar is that GoToWebinar allows me to play music or my voice, but I can't do both. So we'll just bypass the whole issue of whether the music is appropriate or not, that creative decision. Of course it's appropriate. We can't hear it. It's in our imagination. It's got to be perfect. So I want to say, oh, that's it. That's my clip right here. A beautiful day. It's a perfect old-time piece of train music that is just ideal because we don't have to hear it. We can imagine it's perfect. Notice the word send. When I click it, it automatically grabs that clip, says, where do you want it to go? I want to have it go to test three, choose. It imports the music into that exact same library. I grab the music clip, drag it on top of the placeholder, say replace, and poof, it's now replaced that placeholder with this incredible music that if I was able to actually play it, you would be so impressed at how good that music fits the video. This ability to use this plugin to quickly link between Final Cut Pro 10 and Smart Sound makes it really easy to have placeholders for your music and then go back and, and add exactly the music that you need and tweak it. While the plugin allows us to quickly connect Final Cut and Smart Sound. The brand new release of Smart Sound has got several features in it that I want to highlight before we run out of time today. Smart Sound was released in about 1996, maybe 1995. I've been using it since 1997. I'm a huge fan. I've got a library right now that consists of almost 2,300 pieces of music. Their library is now more than 3,500. It's uh, an amazing collection of, of highly customizable music. One of the big claims to fame since the very beginning was the ability for us to take any clip of music here and specify that I want it to run a particular time, say 14 seconds and 15 frames. You just simply type it in, and Smart Sound will automatically create a piece of musically accurate music that has a beginning, a middle, and an end, and flows smoothly through it regardless of what time you set. It slices and dices the music so that it creates musically um, correct pieces. Well, this has been around for the last 20 years. What's been new is that now they've added what's called mood mapping. Mood mapping are for all clips that have three lines. And by the way, a blue line means it's installed on my system, and a gray set of bars indicates it's available in the Smart Sound store, and you can download individual songs or full albums or collections of albums. 
mood mapping allows me, with this selected, I can go to the mood menu and I can say, just let me hear the drums and the bass, or just let me hear rhythm, or just the leads, or drums only, or mute it in such a fashion it works best for dialogue, or you want it set to the background. I can change the actual mix of the music. In addition to changing its timing, I can change the instrumentation and the mix to give me exactly the sound that I want. For instance, there's this wonderful piece of music, but there's a trumpet in it. I don't want the trumpet. It's too much in front. I can take out the trumpet and have the rest of the music play as is. This is hugely powerful. This excerpt has been the first portion of our training on Smart Sound Sonic Fire Pro version 6. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for webinar 205 by the way when you need to stretch your training dollars a membership to our video training library saves you money and time you can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only 1999 that's more than 1400 movies hundreds of hours all in depth and all up to date plus members can attend any of our power up webinars for free our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.